So once you open the box, you'll see on each side there is the ink cartridges. Black, red, blue and yellow. Over here we have the power cable. It's just a normal power cable that uh, almost every printer has. In this pouch we have a quick starting guide. And here we have the printer itself. Next step is to remove all the blue tape one by one. There's many of them and you just have to peel them completely. Don't forget that on the back as well there's some tape to remove. And since we're here you're gonna take the power cable, you're gonna take this end and you're gonna plug it inside of the printer over here. You just have to insert it and then make sure that you push until it clicks in place and it's secure. By the way, if you want to connect this printer using a USB cable that is not provided in the box, this is the port where you need to connect it, right on this side. Now all it's left to do is to connect the power cable to your outlet. To turn on the printer, you just need to keep press this power button over here during just two seconds and let it go. On the screen you'll have a menu appearing and you need to select your language. It's very easy, everything is controlled using these arrows and the OK button. So you can navigate this way. Press OK to select one. We'll select continue setup without the app. Select it and press OK. Now it's time to install the ink cartridges that are provided inside of the box. So I got them here and to open this printer to have access to the ink slots you just need to put your finger on each side. There's even over here where to place them on each side. Okay. Put your finger there and lift the lid until this clicks in place like a prop. This is where the ink cartridges are going. You just need to remove this blue tape that has a small paper on it. You see, this should go away. And now we need to open each of these packages one by one and install them. So let's start with the black ink that goes in the first slot. For each of these cartridges, you need to remove this yellow sticker by simply pulling it like this. Then take your ink cartridge and make sure that the contacts are facing the front over here so it touches these contacts on the printer itself. So insert it this way. You just have to align it in the specific slot and then push it down using your finger. It will click in place and this will ensure that the cartridge is securely installed. Do the same thing with the rest. So here we have the yellow one, which is the second. Again, we need to remove this over here, align it. The contacts are going first like this and then simply push it down. Then we have the magenta, remove the sticker, align it and push it down. And finally the last one and not the least, the cyan. If it doesn't go at first, just replace it. Don't try to force it if you feel that it's not going in. Here we go. All four of our ink cartridges are now installed. To close the lid of this printer, it's very easy. You just have to lift and let it down. It may block itself at this position. What you have to do is to lift it again and it will go completely down. You can also simply lift it and with your other hand, take this blue prop and push it towards you. 
let the lid come down. Once the ink cartridge is installed, you're gonna select installed and press OK. Now all I have to do is to wait. It will take some time. Here it says it can take up to six minutes. You don't need to touch anything at all. Just let the printer do its job. All right, after this is done, you'll get this screen and you're gonna press the OK button. Now it will ask you to align the printer. It's always recommended to do it when you install new cartridges or in this case when the printer when the printer is brand new. So let's do it together. We'll press adjust, which is recommended. Perform a print head nozzle check to check the print quality. Before pressing on print, we need to put some paper inside of the printer. On the back here, lift this panel and let it rest on its back. Your printer may have these blue guides in the middle. You just have to do this with them, push them to the extremities. Place your paper like this. Then you need to select the size of the paper. In our case, it's eight and a half by 11. You can go down. Make sure that it's plain paper and not glossy paper. You can press the close button and now press the print button by, by selecting with the OK button over here. Then you're going to press again on the OK button to select print. You can also extend this piece of plastic. You just have to wait. Take the paper that just got printed and make sure that the lines here that got printed don't have any blank spots. So this is what you should not have. You should just have continuous lines like I have here. If it's the case, well, congratulations. Your printer does not have any problems. Now you're gonna press this blue O button by selecting it with the OK. Then you need to put another piece of paper or you can put this one, but on the other side facing you. Press close. Press adjust. Press print. You can extend this or not. This is not important. Okay, so this just got printed. If we follow the instructions on the screen over here, you need to choose the square with the fewest streaks. Here it will tell you which line to look at. For example, on this paper number one, which one has the least streaks? In my case, it's number two. You see, the other ones have visible streaks, but the number two is the better. So I'll just use the minus and plus sign to adjust the number that is showing here. In my case, I want number two, so I'll leave it here. Press OK. OK, this line number two. Line number two, in my case, I would say that um, number four looks the best. But again, in your case, it will be probably different. Number four is already selected. I'll simply press OK and you'll do this for the other line. So OK. Now it asks us to load another paper in the printer to do another type of alignment. This is what I'll do. I'll take a blank sheet this time. Select close. Select print and wait. And now it's asking you choose the rectangles that are not separated or overlapped and it gives us what kind of example we need to choose. So in my case this got print out and over here number one I know it's hard to see but I see that they're overlapped slightly and the one that it looks the best I would say it's uh, number four or number six looks good. I'll choose four that is already selected. Press OK. 
and these kind of tests are done you can simply press ok again and you have the main menu of the printer showing up on your phone you need to go on the apple store or the google play store and download the epson smart panel app it's very important you download this app and not the other Epson app, which could be confusing since it's called Epson iPrint. Do not download this one, download the other one. You need to go on the printer itself, make sure it's turned on. This is the main menu of the printer. You're gonna use those arrows to navigate and the OK button to select. You're gonna go until you see settings and then press OK. Then you're gonna go down until you see network settings. Select it and press OK. Press OK again since Wi-Fi setup is already selected. Make sure that the first option here, Wi-Fi is selected. Press on it and press OK again. Press OK again to select Wi-Fi Setup Wizard. And now it will look for your home network or if you're at the office, your office network. From this list, you can navigate using these arrows and select yours. Press OK. And now you have to enter the password. Press OK again and using these keys, you're gonna enter it. If you want the numbers, you just need to go down there, press OK, and you'll have access to symbols and numbers as well. Once you're done typing your password, select OK and press OK. Then you're gonna select Start Setup and press OK. All you have to do is to wait, don't do anything, don't touch any buttons it will do the connection by itself. Perfect, we have the blue check mark. This means that this printer is now connected to your home wireless network. Now take your phone and open the app. Press next, next, only this time. And here you'll have a list of all the printers that are detected by the app. You should select XP4200 series or 4100 series. Tap on it. And you should have this screen saying connection is complete. Press OK. You may have to choose between if you want a menu of the app to be with cards or tiles choose tiles it will look like this one over here this is the main menu of the app very easy to use now if you want to print something just press print if it's a photo a picture choose the first option if it's a document choose the second option i just want to print a text document so i'll choose this one and now you'll have to go on your smartphone and choose the file you want to print so it may be a pdf a jpeg could be other formats as well in my case, it's this file, so I'll click on it. It'll open. And now before continuing, you need to load some paper inside of the printer. Make sure this is done. And also pull this paper tray like this and like this, just to make sure that the printed paper is uh, not flying everywhere on your desk. Now, when you're ready, you're gonna press print. It will give you a summary or of every settings that it will use. So make sure that the printer name is XP4200 series or 4100 series. Choose the printing range. Let's say you just want the two first page of the document to be printing, you can select there. Make sure that the paper size is eight and a half by 11 inches if it's just a normal sheet of paper. And here you can choose other settings. If you want it to be in color, what kind of print quality and how many copies you want. Once you're done, just press this start button. All you have to do is to wait. It will send the file. 
and you should have this blue check mark just telling you that it's completed and this is how you print a document or a picture could have been a picture as well to use the scanner function you just have you just have to press the home button here to go back into the main menu press ok and you're gonna press this green scan button here you're gonna select the document size let's just scan this paper so it's eight by and a half eight and a half by 11 inches I want the scan to be in color so I'll leave it like this resolution very important here click on it if you're scanning a picture where resolution so details are very important you're gonna select high 600 dpi if you're just scanning text like in my case 200 is enough so I'll leave it at 200 and here there's automatic rotation you can leave this on finally you need to select in which format you want the scan to be in so this is PDF pre-selected you can click on it and select between JPEG and TIFF if you're scanning pictures you're gonna probably select JPEG but in my case again this is just one paper with text so I'll leave it at PDF before pressing the start button you're gonna come over here open this lid take the paper put it facing down like this and align it with this corner so what I mean by this is simply push it until the corner of the paper meets the corner of the printer over here then you can close the scan lid and press the start button you just have to wait if you're scanning at a higher resolution than 200 it will take more time okay we're done so this is the scan you can even zoom in to see the details as I saw as I told you if you're scanning text 200 is plenty of plenty of details for a text now let's say you have a document with multiple pages and you want to combine them in one single PDF well in this case now it's time to remove this paper and let's say this is page number two you're gonna put it the same way align it with this corner close and you're gonna select this plus button on the lower left side and it will scan the second page once you're done the second page will be displayed over here and you can do this with as many pages you have if you have 10 20 you just have to lift put the new the new paper press the plus button and it will just continue to add on once you're done you're gonna press next you're gonna choose a file name you can type and give it your personal file name so let's say test scan Epson location is where do you want the file to be saved on your smartphone so click on it and select where on your smartphone you want this PDF file or JPEG file to be saved let's say I want it to be in documents you're gonna select use this folder allow and then press save if you want to share this uh, scan press this button over here and you'll be able to share it in different apps or by messenger you'll have all these options over there to save it just press save it will give you this message press yes and you're done scanning thanks for watching I hope this tutorial was helpful if it was please leave a comment down below a like subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next one